It's the grandson of right thought. It's all about mastering you. Mastering the waves. So that you can walk on the water. Everybody's caught up on the 3D when they read those scriptures, not understanding that we are spiritual. His word is spirit. Their life. That's what spirit is. It means life. The breath. <sighs> See? They tried to put words on his name. Yahuwah for the breath. Oh, yeah. It's just... <sighs> When you understand that, it's about mastering that breath, the spirit, taking hold of it and mastering it so that you can walk across the waves of life. Because we all know that there are waves. <laughs> People try to act all funny about life like when you say that there are problems and strife and they try to deny it. No, there's not. There's no, everything's all good. Life's just fine. I don't know whatever you're. I don't know what you're talking about. They're just denying their own strife, their own pain, their own suffering. See, because we all have it. Us of the elect. I'm not speaking to those of the world, of course. But those, the family of the elect, you understand that you have strife, and it's about mastering how you feel about it. You see, like a, a wild mustang that you have to tame. Think about what I'm saying. Really think about it. Let it enter in and really think about these words that you're hearing. Mastering myself. Mastering how I feel about things. So when someone does something hurtful to you, does something that is, is you consider to be offensive, how do you feel about it when it happens? And then take inventory of your feelings of it and then think about how you respond. Because of how you feel. Because if you respond with, oh, I'm so hurt because they did that to me and they, they're just so wrong. They're just so wrong what they've done. Then you've allowed whatever it is that this outside stimulation has done to affect how you feel. See? And that reaction of that, that, oh, this, that's the same thing that they did when they were on the boat saying we're all going to die. That's what that is really about. And so when Peter, by faith, said, hold on, wait a minute, let me calm down and believe this. I'm looking at this man doing it. Let me believe it as well. He's, he started to walk. But then when he saw the waves kicking up. You see then he started to falter that's what you're doing when you fall victim to how you feel about the outside stimulation when the storm came to test your faith when you responded by reacting to it that's when you started to sink you see we don't want to sink we want to walk on the water you see Jezebel sits upon many waters. See, an emotional ass bitch. Jezebel goes up how she feels about everything. Not about true doctrine. That's how you know somebody who's under the Jezebelian spirit. They just go pure feelings. If it sounds good, it makes them feel good, then it's true. They will justify their lies with why they did it so... If I, if I cheated, then you cheated. So that's why I cheated. So it's not really wrong that I did because you're a cheater too, see? Instead of saying, well, whether you cheated or not doesn't change the fact that I did. So that still means that I'm still a fucking cheater. They can't do that. That's someone who's under the Jezebelian spirit, you see? They don't adhere to sound doctrine. They find loopholes with the emotions. So they're caught in that water. You see, drunken with the wine of the fornication of Jezebel. See, feelings. You don't want to be drunken with your feelings today. And that's all they're going to do. These people that have been placed in your life to build you up is what they're really there for. That's all they're doing in your life. When they wake you up early as hell with some bullshit, arguing, fighting, 
drama, making noise. They up, now you gotta be up. You like, what the fuck? Don't do the what the fuck. Just here they go with their bullshit. Little gang stalking tactics. So let me go ahead on and get my patience on. Let me just turn my patience on more. You see? It doesn't matter what you feel about it in that moment. What matters is that you do what's right thought in that moment. You conquer your feelings with right thought. Now, to prove what I'm saying, a man and a woman are together. The woman feels some type of way about something. And if her husband is connected to divine thought, he will give her the, the divine thought of it. Of the question she asks. That's why the scripture says if a woman has any questions in church, let her ask her husband at home. And he's going to be able to, to direct her to the answer which is in the scripture. You see? But if he's not connected to divine thought, then is he going to be able to direct her anywhere? <laughs> Other than his own conjecture? And that's why a lot of women lost faith in their man. Because he wasn't connected to divine thought. Ain't that right, sister? So he tried to come to you with thoughts that weren't of God. Oh, baby, we gonna do this, we gonna do this, it's gonna work like this, this gonna happen like this, that's gonna do like this, this gonna do like this, trust me. Trust me. He's about talking about trust him. See, a real righteous man, he's gonna say, trust Abayah. He got us. He gonna always say that. Trust what Abayah said about this, baby. Don't even worry about what's going on. Don't even, remember, walking on the waves? That's what me and you about to do. We gonna walk on the waves just like Yahushua did. Don't let that shit sway your feelings. Really? That's right, baby. Come here, give me a hug. Shit. That's how we gonna do it. As righteous men, you see? It's real simple. It's not hard to understand. Is if you're outside of divine alignment, then you're lost, like I've been saying. Then you can't do that. You can't steer yourself out here, guys. With truth. Because it's nothing but a bunch of lies being thrown at you every day to throw you off of the truth. That's all it is. That's all this is that you're going through every day. The people that are around you, the circumstances that you're in, the things that you're going through, they're all designed to throw you off of God's truth. So Abba's testing you to see whether you believe him or you believe the illusion of world. That's what Yahushua was showing us by walking on the water. Believing Abba Yah's truth over the lies. I don't believe the 3D. In other words, Yahushua was saying, I don't believe anything you throw at me. I know the truth. So you guys understand that? That it's not about uh, going back and forth with um, emotions back and forth, playing volleyball with your emotions with people. Knock some shit over there, they knock it back. You knock it back over there, they knock it back, they knock it back over there. You're never getting any leeway. You're never getting any common ground. You can't find no common solution. And you're still trying with emotions. That's why it doesn't work. You have to use the sword of truth, which is Abba Yah's word. Then that cancels out everybody else's words. It makes the most sense of everybody else's conjecture. Because you see that it works when you put it to the test. Everybody else, they're found wanting. They're found lacking. They're missing things. They're getting off. And then when they're off, they're not mad enough to come back and say, you know what? I was flat out wrong. I just watched a video. Marcus Rogers made like a like a 17 minute video. So-called apologizing to his followers. He has like, I don't know, 300,000 followers, 500,000 followers on YouTube. So-called Christian pastor, I guess. I don't know. But he said Trump, God showed him that Trump was going to be president reelected again. And it didn't happen. So he said, I never said God told me. He said God showed him though. So now he's supposed to be apologizing. Well, the video is 17 minutes long. What the fuck kind of apology takes 17 minutes? I'm asking the real men out there. If a nigga came to apologize to you, <laughs> And it and this nigga was standing there talking for 17 minutes. What would you feel about that? <laughs> a true apology takes a couple of seconds. Hey, look, I just decided to get on here and make a video. I was wrong. 
I'm going to humble myself. I'm going to go away, seek the most highest forgiveness and seek him on this. And I won't return to say anything until you, to you guys until I've sought the most high about this. Because I was in error. End of story. This nigga, you guys want to throw stones at me. and It's okay because I'm going to be all right. People are throwing stones at you because the false prophets got stoned, nigga, when they was wrong. So that's why you feel like people throwing stones at you. See? And you talking for 17 minutes about feelings. You see? This nigga is in his feelings because he was wrong and he was exposed for being wrong and now he don't know how to handle it. So he talked and talked and talked to appeal to women's emotions so that women would get behind this nigga and say, Oh, it's okay, Marky. It's all right, Brother Rogers. We still love you. It's okay if everybody gets it wrong every now and again. Not a prophet. <laughs> he can't get it wrong. The Most High says, if he says one thing and it don't come to pass, slay that nigga. Because he's lied to you. And he has not spoken no words I put in his mouth. So for a man to say God showed me. Did he show you a movie or some shit? <laughs> did he what did he show you? Because it was wrong. So Abba Yah showed you something wrong. So Abba Yah was wrong. And you're talking about don't put it on God, put it on me. Look, y'all, you see it's about people playing on emotions. That's what this whole world is about. Your emotions, guys, using your emotions against you to cause you to believe the lie that they're throwing at you. That's all it is. Not to get you to 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 uh, use right thought and right judgment. That's not what they want you to do. They want you to completely give over your feelings and emotions to what they throw at you. So that therefore you are giving your mind over to it. You're believing it instead of believing Abba Yah. So it stays alive. You're breathing in life into it by doing that. You see? But when you don't, when you just, somebody do some crazy shit to you, try to get your emotions up, you just be like, oh, hold on, let me take a minute. Go into another room, close the door. <sighs> Come on now. That shit's just an illusion trying to stir your feelings up. That's all it's doing. Don't fall for that shit. What does Abba Yah's word say about this? Then go to his word. It's got an answer. Believe me, it always does. <laughs> so then you get the answer and then you say those words. Now, let's prove that. When Yahushua was in the 40, he was tempted by the devil. Every time he was tempted, did he use his own words or did he use scripture? Did he use Deuteronomy against that nigga? What did he do in his responses? He used the sword of truth. He used the word of Abba Yah over the devil. And if it triumphed over the devil, then don't you think it's going to triumph over all of your enemies? <laughs> Enough said. Silawam Yisraelah.